Well, good folks. Welcome to another Let's Talk. I'm Black Templar, and today we're gonna have a little little chat about something. Now, what's this all about, you may ask? And you probably read by the title: Will a Horace Heresy slash 40k Total War game ever happen? Well, what if I told you it is possible, and it could happen sooner than we think? Let me let me explain, shall we? First off, let's start off with the fact that, as many of you may not know, Total Warhammer 3, this is the last one of the Total Warhammer series. Now, for those who think we might get an SEO game, I doubt it, because here's why I think why we won't probably get an SEO game, is because SEO is more like, well, I'm going to compare it with computer game terms, it's more like Dawn of War, kind of like the old Dawn of War 2 games, but to me, that fits more to, to the Monday SEO than what it is for a grand strategy game like what Warhammer is and what 40k is at the moment, as well as Horus Heresy. Now, why do you believe? Why do I believe? You know, we could see a Horus Heresy slash 40k game. Well, here's the thing, guys. The Dawn of War series, in my view, is pretty much dead because after three, which was a right debacle, and because we've heard nothing about 40k in a long time, barring Space Marine, we've heard nothing from the RTS side. Now, I will admit RTSs are a niche side game for people who've got PCs or certain consoles that play them. But you may be wondering, if that's the case, would would a game like that work in the Monday market? And I would say yes. Now, if you look at, say, 30k, for example, 30k is a grand more bigger kind of gameplay nowadays than it than 40 years at the moment. That's because most of the leech and size rules, whereas many like a normal troop team would be like 20 man strong assault troops, 20 man strong, big tanks, big you know war machines, which we could do in this game because believe it or not, in Warhammer 2 and 3, the assets for those kind of things are already there. I mean, we've got steam tanks and other war machines that we could, you know, you could reskin and repackage as these kind of war machines. But not only that, <clears throat> it would make interesting gameplay. And the one good thing about 40k is you don't have to rely on set lore. You can make your own planet, make your own story arc and everything, and you can get away with it. Now, whether or not they would do that is a, up for debate. However, some of you might think, well, hang on, Black. Yes, in Horus Heresy, they could do it. But for the kid, not, they can't do it because, you know, Marines, Thousand Chapter, and all that. Well, here's where I think we could get it. Now, <clears throat> you see, at the moment, for those who are unaware, 10th edition is coming out soon, next, sometime next year, actually. And the rumor is going around that they might take some cues from Horus Heresy because Horus Heresy this year has been an absolute, you know, bomb burner. It's been hitting it out of the park and as a guy who's played both games I tend to like Horus Heresy more because it feels more like a grand strategy type of play than you know like 40k is like <clears throat> just like bashing somebody over the head with a hammer kind of thing now the reason I say this is because in one of the books it stated from Gilliman that he was he's reconsidering bringing back the legions so basically if that happens in 10th where we can have like 20 man squads and like massive legion sized armies we could do it now you may be thinking well where are the assets to do this well so why have already got them you've got the orcs you could easily reskin them with guns and choppers and all that um <clears throat> the elves and the dark elves you can use for drukari or eldari the necrons you can use the undead Pari the imperial guard humans the skaven you could use for like lids and all that. so the, the assets are there. Now, the reason I'm asking is because, to be honest, we have not had a total a Warhammer 40k RTS for a long time. And to be honest, I would like to see an RTS, like Total War Warhammer 40k game. Because I say right now, we could it could happen because it would be bigger, better, and we could have like real grand battles. I mean, hell. We can have battles with titans and all that jazz. Now, I know what you're thinking. But Templar, that would be a massive undertaking. And you're right, it would be. Now, I could see this happen 
it could happen, you know, within three or four years, because, let's be honest, they're still going to work on Warhammer 3 for another probably couple of years. What do you consider that? But it's not out of the realm of possibility, because you got to remember, the Dawn of War franchise and 40k franchise are still with Sega, and since Sega owns Creative Assembly, there is a strong possibility that could happen. Whether or not this happens is, well, up for debate. And what do you think? Do you think we should get a like a Total War Warhammer or Heresy game? Do you think we could be pulled off? What do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section below, and I'll see you in the next video. I'll catch you later.